Hi guys, girls, boys, hope you are doing well, hope you are keeping well. Uh, I'm just going to throw up a quick recipe here for you. There's no biscuits in the, the cupboards or you've no treats for a cup of tea and you have a half an hour to spare. I'm going to throw uh, some lemon scones together. Um, I'll uh, go through each and every stage with you. As I said, keep following. Uh, if, you, if you're unsure, stop, go back, keep looking. But I'm keeping it simple for you. Keeping it simple, right? So here we go. Right, so what we need is, we need self-raising flour. We need caster sugar, or sugar, a little bit of vanilla essence, some milk, and some marge or butter, yeah? So, in our bowl, I'm going to, I'm giving you the measurements for this, and it is four cups of self-raising flour. Now, with the four cups, I'm giving a, a, a mix for possibly um, six uh, generous size scones. So in here, we have our four cups of flour. We go half, a good decent half cup of sugar in there. Now, because we're doing lemon scones, I'm going to put, grate my lemon rind into my dry mix now, yeah? This is a really, really simple recipe. And if you want, and you really like lemon, you can go a little bit more. Just be careful, um, the likes of the pips, anything like that so in here we have the grated lemon I'm going to have the lemon with the juice you know just hold it over over your fingers so you don't get the you don't get the pips into your mix yeah throw away the pips this is a small enough size lemon as I said if you like just get go a bit more so in there we have our lemon mix a small little splash of vanilla essence not too much small little splash rinse keep washing your hands in between tasks and here is a half a pound of butter so what I want of this is approximately approximately just a sliver off so that's say uh, half of a half such yeah that into my mix there now get the spoon just initially get the spoon to mix that mix that around like that yeah you haven't broken down the butter yet so this is where you're going to get your hands in yeah so with your hands there's the lump of butter so what I want to do is I want to break down that butter I want to break down that and it's going to be the consistency when you're finished here it should be the consistency like breadcrumbs yeah it should be like breadcrumbs so get it rubbing your hands together rubbing your hands together breaking all that butter down yeah keep going like that you don't want to have lumps of butter going through your mix okay so in here I'll recap a four cups of self-raising flour, a little over half a cup of sugar, I've had a little splash of vanilla essence, I've grated on the fine side of the grater uh, a lemon, lemon zest, and then the juice of the lemon. So that should be the consistency there. It's like breadcrumbs, yeah? So a little well in the middle, and in this, I'm going to go with one, put out one full cup of milk. And the reason why I'm going to do this with one hand is, I'm going to pour, say half the cup of milk into the center. With one hand, using your fingers, gathering in the center, moving it around, you're mixing your milk in. So you don't want the mix too wet. If it becomes too wet, you can add a small bit of flour to dry it out. 
So that's half a cup of milk gone in there. That mix is still a bit dry. So I add another small little bit. Don't add the whole lot, just a small bit. Just so it's starting to leave the sides of the bowl. So your mix is starting to leave the sides of the bowl. So with that, another little drop, still on the dry side, another little drop, and go the whole lot, sure. go the whole lot. So there we have the full cup of milk in there, right? So just gathering it from the sides, using the one hand all the time, yeah? So here, with the bag of flour we have there, just flour your hands a little bit and just sprinkle. Put your flour on your surface. I'm using the board, like so. So that's your mix. It's relatively dry looking. So with my two hands, I'm just going to press it together. Yeah, nice and simple, press it together. Yeah. So when I have it like that, a little bit of flour on my hands, not too much now, just to dust, just to dry out your hands. So when I have it like that, if you don't have a rolling pin, press down. You can make these as, as small, as large, as rough as you like. So I have that. So I'm going to go with that size there, yeah? So I have a cutters to cut this out. If you don't have a cutters, the likes of a large lid, a uh, large lid of your coffee or your coffee jar or, you know, anything, or a cup, even a cup in the press, so flouring the, I'm going to cut them out. Here I have a tray with greaseproof paper on it. So I'm going to cut out my scones. Place them on the tray. Press them down a bit more. And cut them out. Now, as I said, if you don't have a cutter, get, get a mix and cut out into squares if you like. It's all the same, once you cut them out into portions, yeah? Two, and make that last one there into my mould. And so. So here I have the tray of scones. Easily, easily made. Wash the hands. Making sure you're washing the hands in between all the tasks. And in one bowl, in a bowl here, any bowl, I have one egg and a little splash of milk. I'm after mixing that up. And this is what they call, this is for the glaze for the scones. This will give your scones a nice brown color. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a brush. So if you had a little pastry brush, you would use it. But what I'm doing is a little bit of kitchen towel. A little bit of kitchen towel, dab it in there. And just dab, just brush the top of your scones and in and around if you want. Just brush the top in and around and do that with the whole lot of them. Don't be afraid to, to really get, get it all covered because you don't, you want it nice and colourful, nice and brown, yeah? So that's that. There, a preheated oven of 180, because mine's electric. I told you before, if you need gas, look up the equivalent of 180. There, onto the middle shelf for approximately 20-25 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. There, into the oven. And just as I did, the same mix. There's my scones. I got five out of the last mix, but they are really, really a big, good size. So get them on my plate. I have my kettle boiling for my cup of tea. Onto, onto my plate. If you have a few around the house for a cup of tea or whatever, and then just just to finish it off, a bit of dusting, nice bit of icing sugar, yeah, icing sugar, just to make it. And there we go, lemon scones. Um, I'd say approximately. Um, you'd have them done in 30, 35 minutes, all right, from start to finish. Always make sure that you have your ingredients in front of you, okay? Um, as I said, I 
hope you're all keeping well. Uh, I hope you're keeping in contact with the centre. Um, I hope you're keeping busy. And generally, I hope you're keeping well. I hope you're enjoying uh, the few recipes that's being put up. Um, keep in touch with the Facebook page, the Insta page. There's going to be a TV cooking channel coming to the Insta page. Uh, Kate is going to be working on. Thanks, Kate. And uh, yeah, I hope you're all keeping well. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. More recipes coming up. Nice one. Yep.